Hey there, lovely friends. Welcome to your very own Painted Lady Butterfly Raising Kit journey with monarchbutterflies.ca. I'm so excited to be your guide as you nurture these beautiful creatures who are just so important to our environment. While this video offers valuable tips, it's intended to complement our comprehensive written instructions. Visit our website's blog and FAQ sections, including the FAQ on the ordering page for more details. Explore our detailed ordering guide on the blog for step-by-step -step instructions on placing orders, calculating costs, including taxes and shipping, and accessing helpful resources like articles, lesson plans, and FAQs. When your butterfly kit from monarchbutterflies.ca arrives, please inspect the package for any signs of damage. Inside the box, you'll find what you ordered to help grow your adorable little caterpillars. The package will include a quick start guide with a QR code that will link to the full instructions on the website and a poem for releasing. Along with the net, the hygiene brush and your caterpillar cups. The caterpillar food is pre-mixed with ingredients like soy fiber, soy flour, wheat germ, agar, carrageenan and vermiculite. This blend is then combined with boiling water and poured into cups. Only after cooling can one to five caterpillars be placed in each cup, depending on its size. Upon receiving your kit, it will take approximately two weeks for the caterpillars to reach their butterfly stage. We recommend raising your butterflies indoors in a secure space away from any chemicals and direct sunlight, while maintaining a consistent room temperature. Each container, whether it's an individual cup or a larger one with multiple caterpillars, provides a cozy home for these tiny creatures. A tissue paper liner can be found beneath the lid, while a specially formulated artificial diet nourishes them. It's crucial to keep the lids closed and avoid placing caterpillars together in the same container if they're in individual cups. The caterpillars remain in the closed cups until they pupate, opening only for cleaning or as instructed. Every container comes with holes, but if there are none, don't worry, no holes are needed. There's ample airflow in the cup, but if you wish, you can use a needle to gently poke one or two holes on the top of the lid. The caterpillars will thrive. It's best to leave them undisturbed. By following these guidelines, you'll help your little friends thrive on their journey to becoming beautiful butterflies. If you notice condensation inside the cup, simply crack open the lid for a brief moment until the condensation clears, then securely close it back up. As they grow, the caterpillars will create waste called frass, as well as some webbing. The black balls you might notice in the container are actually the shedded skin from their growth stages. Every three days, or as needed, you can tidy up the caterpillar's home. Your caterpillars will experience five growth stages called the instars, shedding their skin each time. Gently remove the shed skin like you did with the frass and web. But remember not to empty the cup completely. If needed, you can collect any excess food and frass into a separate container, although this is generally not necessary. Handling caterpillars with bare hands is not recommended. Use gloves or the hygiene brush to minimize contact. Please also remember to avoid touching your eyes after handling and cleaning the caterpillar's frass, and be sure to wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. Less disturbance is way better for our growing buddies. If you notice the paper liner ripping, if the caterpillars decide to have a nibble, or if there's an excess amount of moisture, don't worry, it's all part of the natural process. Simply replace the paper liner with fresh paper towel to ensure their comfort. When you come across a little red ball in the cup, take it as a sure sign that your caterpillar has wrapped up its meal time and is all set for the pupation stage. The pupation stage may vary among your caterpillars, just like in nature, where some will pupate sooner than others. Sometimes during the last instar, they might stay attached to the pupa. No need to worry. It's best not to disturb them during this crucial phase of their transformation. Once your caterpillars have transformed into their pupa stage and hardened for about 24 to 48 hours, it's time to move them into our butterfly net cage. If your caterpillars are snuggled together in cups of five, it's best to let them stay that way until all of them have made their way to the pupa stage. You have the option to transfer them into the net cage as they pupate. 
Just make sure to replace the paper liner for the other caterpillars to complete their pupation. Remember, little butterfly caretakers, when opening the net cage, be gentle and cautious while removing the rubber band. Especially for our younger friends, safety first during this magical experience. Make sure to lay down ample paper towels at the bottom of the net to prevent any meconium drips from staining the nettings or the surroundings. For more details on setting up the cage, scan the QR code to find more information on the website. Gently remove the cup lid and carefully peel off the paper liner with the pupae still attached. Use tape to hang the liner at the top of the net cage. If you find the pupae in precarious positions, whether hanging by a thread, at risk of falling, or situated on the lid or the floor of the cup, it's perfectly fine to carefully place them on the bottom of the cage. When the butterflies emerge, they'll climb up the netting to spread their wings and dry. Handle everything with love and care during this delicate process and your butterflies will be grateful for the cozy home you've created for them. Your butterflies will emerge within 6 to 10 days. When they do, they release a little something called meconium, a red liquid that marks the beginning of their brand new journey as they spread their wings and prepare for their very first flight. Remember to give them a little time to let their wings dry, approximately 2 hours before handling them. While some folks may be tempted to add wildflower or foliage to the cage, it's often best to maintain a sterile environment for your butterflies. You can treat your new butterfly pals to a delightful menu of sugar water, juicy watermelon slices, or refreshing orange wedges. For more details, check out the full list of written instructions and frequently asked questions on our website. If you intend to set your butterflies free within 48 hours, feeding them isn't necessary, but we suggest offering them a little something. Painted lady butterflies have a short lifespan of about two weeks in the wild. To give them the best chance, release them within one to three days of hatching, as long as the weather's nice. For a comprehensive guide on releasing your beautiful butterflies, be sure to check out our blog for all the details. By following these instructions, you're making a positive difference in the world of butterflies, increasing their survival rate in comparison to their natural environment. Remember, our information is constantly evolving and being updated, and we welcome your constructive feedback and experiences. Your valuable input greatly contributes to building our knowledge base. In the wild, only a small fraction of caterpillars make it to the butterfly stage, underscoring the natural cycle of life, death, and occasionally deformities. This provides a viable opportunity to teach our children about these realities and the importance of compassion. Understanding these aspects of the butterfly's life cycle can help us nurture empathy and kindness towards all living beings as we work together to support these stunning creatures and help them thrive in the great outdoors. Thank you for your purchase of the Painted Lady Butterfly Racing Kit from monarchbutterflies.ca. We wish you a wonderful journey. As we conclude this video, remember that it offers a wealth of insights, but for the complete details, we invite you to visit our website. You can also conveniently scan the QR code on the screen for easy access. Until next time, 